Hey everyone, I want to show you a quick way to make a virtual sensory prep choice chart with embedded links using PowerPoint for you to use in your virtual therapy sessions. So in a few of my previous videos, I've shown how to organize online tools and games in bookmarks using separate categories such as fine motor, gross motor, visual perceptual skills so that it's easier to access these links during sessions. This has been a great method for me to find individual activities, tools, and games, but specifically with sensory prep choices, I'd like my students to be able to see the visuals of choices so that they can click on them so that it makes it easier for them to choose. And it also allows me to limit the choices to just a few choices so that it's not overwhelming for my students. It also makes it a lot easier so that all of the links are embedded in one place so that all you have to do is click on the target to open it up. So first I made categories for the sensory prep choices and this is my first slide. I just did this by copying and pasting photos into a table and each of these categories would correspond to a slide that has choices for that category. The next thing I did was make my choice slides for each category. So for this one, this is my yoga slide and here are all the yoga choices that my student can choose from. Again, I just copy and pasted pictures and also put in text boxes as visuals for my students. So now I'm going to show you how to make a link within the slideshow. So let's say I want to link this yoga category to my slide with all of the yoga choices. I would click the insert tab, click shapes. You can choose whatever shape you want. I'm just going to go with the star and I put it in the yoga category. You can change the color, the outline and the shape effect here. I'm just going to go with yellow and choose a beveled effect to make it a little bit more defined. To insert a link, you're going to click on that shape again, click insert, click links, click add a hyperlink, and then it will open up this insert hyperlink box. And then over here on the left, you'll see the choice place in this document. That is the one you'd want to click. So since my yoga choices are on slide nine, I'm going to click slide nine and that would add a link to that slide in my PowerPoint. Then click OK, and let's check it out. So I'm going to click slideshow mode, click on that star, and it brings me to the yoga slide. Now you can actually also add a link to a file on your computer. So in my case, I have a virtual sensory room resource on my computer that I want to link right here. You do the same thing, you would click insert, click shape, add the colors, and shape effects. And then same thing, you would click insert again, click links, click add a hyperlink, and then you're going to look right here where it says look in, and you're going to use this drop down to look for the file on your computer. So in this case, my resource is in the file sensory, so I'm going to click sensory, and then I can scroll down to find my resource right here, virtual sensory room. And then I click OK. And let's try it out. Click slideshow, click on the star. And it has opened the virtual sensory room from the file on my computer. The next thing you want to do is add your links for each of your choices. To do that, you would start by doing the same thing. You would insert a shape. I'm going to stick with stars again. And let's say I want to link this alphabet yoga video. I'll change my color and my shape effect really quick. And then you're gonna click back on that shape, click insert, click link, click add a hyperlink. And then you're going to choose this option, existing file or web page. So next you'd want to copy the link to the video. I already have mine copied. So I'm just going to press control V to paste my link into this address box right at the bottom here. And then I click OK. So let's check it out. I'm going to click slideshow mode again, click the star, and it pulled up the alphabet yoga video. So you'd want to add those links for the rest of the choices on the slide. And you'd also want to add your slide links on your categories page. What I've also done is I have put multiple 
stars next to one choice. So for this choice virtual obstacle, there are different virtual obstacle courses that the student can choose from. All right, so let me show you what the final product kind of looks like. So you'd want to go to your first slide with the sensory prep categories, click slideshow down here. And let's say my student wants to choose the movement category down here. So they would click the star and that would pull up the slide with all of the different movement choices. So let's say my student wants to choose the SpongeBob warm up down here. They would just click on that star and it would open up to the SpongeBob warm up YouTube video that was linked. And just to give you an idea, this is what the rest of my slides look like. So here are some of my choices for deep pressure. I haven't finished this yet. As you notice, some of the choices do not have stars. That's because we actively do these activities and I model them. Mindfulness, breathing, of course, movement, and yoga. If you're interested, I will put the links of these resources in the description box in this video on my YouTube page. So this is a great way to keep all of your virtual sensory resources in one place for your students so that it's easier for your students to choose an activity and so it's easier for you to modify the activities as well. Thanks for watching.